Now, no parent should have to go through the pain Faye and Mark Levison have, forced to choose between justice and finding their 20-year-old son Matt's body. Now it's time something special was done for them in memory of their precious son. It's the backyard built with love by friends, family and complete strangers. If ever you need to see the Christmas spirit in action, you just have to visit the Leveson family backyard. At this time of year when we think of others and give, well, it was in spadefuls here. And it all centred around a very sickly looking plant. This is a very important palm, isn't it? Hugely so. I mean, this, this is the palm that uh, Matt was found under. Uh, Matt was found probably uh, about that far under this palm's roots. Since we brought the palm home, uh, we've spent a lot of time up here. And we sit up here with our two dogs and have a drink. Faye and Mark Levison are people no parent wants to swap places with. We've watched them going in and out of courtrooms for a decade, seeking justice for their dead son, Matthew, whose gay partner escaped prosecution after eventually revealing where he buried the 20-year-old in remote bushland, but only in exchange for immunity. Mark wears his son on his sleeve. It's all they have left. Aside from that palm, oh, and a whole lot of strangers in their backyard trying to save it and build Matty's garden. We're just so humble. We, we say thanks, but it's, words just don't do it justice. Yeah, we can never, never thank them enough because we can't believe that this is happening to us. I think there's know? a lot of love and a lot of sympathy from Australia that saw the both of you going through so much. And they just want to say people are thinking about you, you know? It, it shows, it really yeah. shows. Back to our palm. It's looking a little sad. I've got faith. It's rock solid. You can't move it. Look, you can't move the it. The roots have taken. The roots are taken. He might be a bit sad up there. Yeah. But knowing Maddie, he'll he'll do his best. When they eventually found Maddie's remains, the cabbage tree palm had been out of the ground for days. The Levisons brought it back and planted it in their backyard, bringing some of the soil and rocks that surrounded their son's remote resting place. But the palm was buried on a rock shelf and clearly it wasn't doing well. It has to be removed. Chris, the horticulturalist, is doing his best. We're trying as hard as we can and uh, with Faye's faith, we're gonna pop him in here and just see, just give it that last chance. Okay. It comes and is replanted in a pot with some of that precious soil that was taken from the site. Looks good, Faye. Looks good. <laughs> looks good. Yeah. That looks faith. nice for now. Thank, Thank you. you. The moment is momentous. Now, there was never any time to maintain their old backyard. Faye and Mark spent every weekend for 10 years searching for Matthew in the Royal National Park south of Sydney. They and police always suspected he was buried there. They would dig, walk the paths, look for something unusual, but the decade proved fruitless. So we wanted to make sure Matt was found before we passed. We didn't want to leave this problem for other two boys after we were gone. In the end, they say, they did a deal with the devil. Immunity for Michael Atkins for telling them where Matty was buried. So how did all this come about? Could we do something special with it to make their life a little bit brighter? You feel all right? 2GB broadcaster and nine personality Ben Fordham had an idea centred on that palm. A part of him and a part of his story and a part of that discovery will live on in this backyard forever. So it started with a palm yeah. and then you put your foot in it and you said, I can do a little bit more. Well, that's actually, you have to. So on his radio show, Ben got his mate Chris from Scenic Blue Designs to save the palm and, well, do up the whole backyard. This family has been to hell and back. Is that the reason you're here today? Something inside me just said we've got to do it. Yes, I suppose yes. Yeah. The Levisons have encountered the worst in people and now 
they are experiencing the best. That's not about money. That's not. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's about doing the right thing. Yeah. Good on you. You've got grand plans for this. It's a worn out old tired backyard, <laughs> isn't it, mate? <laughs> and it's getting harder, literally, in the ground. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, it'll, be, it'll be, I mean, when it's finished, it's going to be a cracker. Absolute yeah. cracker, you know. Yeah. And, and it's designed to, to let Mark, Faye, family stop, reflect, I hope. That's what, that's what it's, we're trying to do. It's a pretty emotional story. Bevan and his team from the professional landscapers agree. I've got two young boys and you'd, uh, you know, you'd like to think that um, some of it would never happen to, to them or our family, so in the circumstances that it has happened, so you know, I think it's something we just all need to rally around and, and get behind and, and help out. Oh, thank you guys. Faye and Mark are out there feeding the volunteers. No words can ever express how how grateful, how humbled we are that people would do this for us. But thoughts of Maddie are never far away. He'd been in the, in, out there in the bush mm. for 10 years, nearly, nine, nine years, eight months, eight days, in an unmarked grave. And as a child, as a baby, he was scared of the dark. So that was always playing on my mm. mind that he was out in the dark somewhere, alone. He's here now. He's here now. He's all yeah. around us. I mean, he's in he's the part palm. Of palm. He's mm. part of that palm. People say it's not going to survive, but I say it will. Give it a year and it's going to have a green shoot on it. Yeah, we're with you, Faye. The love, sweat and tears went on for five long days. It went beyond a garden caterers and even painters like Brian from Classic Decor turned up after hearing the call on the radio. You know, I was coming home from school with my, uh, my 11 year old and he said, Dad, you should do that. You should ring and so I did. Life's not all about making money, you know. If you can't give somebody a couple of days of your time once a year, it's, you know. As soon as we said, look, we wanted to do this, people just started coming out of the woodwork and saying, Ironwood said, we'll do the wood. Uh, Gosford Quarry said, hang on, we'll do the sandstone. Mitre 10 said, look, you're going to need hardware. Kennard's Hire said, we'll give you some equipment. ME Lighting said, look, you're going to need lights. Oh. Turtle Nursery, all these people just started lining up and saying, we'll help out too. And then ordinary people who said, hey, listen, I'll come and give you a helping hand for a couple of days. It's just bloody unbelievable. A life may have gone, but something else had come to life. It was just impossible to believe it could be this good. It's just magical of a night time. There's no words to describe how wonderful it is. And we feel so humble that people would do this for us. I mean, we're just normal people, just fighting for our son's rights. The effort that's gone in here from people who have the goodness of their heart uh, and just wanted to help out and uh, provide their labour, their skills, their materials, it's breathtaking. It's a good point, Ma, because these people they were total strangers, weren't they? they Unt were. Until now. Until, until now. Until now. When we're out here in the future and, and sit up there in our pergola, uh, we won't just think of Matt, we'll think of them as well. This belongs to them too. As Ben said the day before. They'll be able to go out into the backyard with a beer or a glass of wine and to sit there and to be thinking about Maddie. I think that's going to be something pretty special. Yeah. And so now it is all over. We did just that. To Maddie. Maddie. Amongst those rocks, soil, and that palm. It's coming good, that palm. It is. The roots are alive, we think, so it, it yeah. has promise. What would Maddie think about all this? He'd love it. He'd absolutely oh. love it. It's got all the features that the he colours, loves. The colours. The glitter. He loved water features. Yeah. He loved the lights. And the lights of a night time, as I said, is magical. And he would, he'd, I could see him sitting out here, and I'm sure he is out here with us now. I hope this brings you much peace and happiness. It started already. It started yeah. to, mm. yep. How incredibly heartwarming and a huge thank you to all the generous businesses who gave their time and materials to bring some much needed happiness to the Leveson family. You'll find all their details on our homepage. Go and have a look. And tomorrow, the National Parks and Wildlife Service will rejuvenate the site where much of the digging took place to find Matt's body. It just happens to be his 31st birthday. When we come back, take your...